gone to the Supreme Court before? No, it has not gone to the Supreme Court yet. But what happened is, you know, one state, California, Gavin Newsom, decided that, you know, it was unconstitutional to prevent gay people from getting married. And so he started um, marrying people there in the in the state of um, California, in the city of San Francisco. And that's when Kelly, Mommy, and I went and flew there and, and got married. And then they annulled all of those marriages. They stopped people from getting married. George Bush, in the middle of a war, had a um, an all-station news conference to announce how horrible it was for the safety of America that gay people were getting married in San Francisco, mm. which pissed me off enough to get on a plane and go get married. <laughs> and um, You would do that. I will. Well, yes, you know, you in a way, yeah. it was like an act of, uh, you know, I don't know, defiance. Civil, civil disobe- disobedience. Well, yeah. to me, it was civil disobedience, but people said to me that's the wrong terminology. But it just was an act of, listen, if you're going to count up everybody who you think is not a value and round them all up, you know, and slap a pink triangle on them. It's purple. Uh, it was pink it was during pink. Um, really? the Holocaust. Yeah. Everybody that I talked to said it was purple, but no. If you if you just watch Schindler's List, you'll see it was per- pink. And um, you know, I just felt like I wanted to be counted amongst the people who you know they were saying are, are unworthy and and not allowed to have the same rights as as everyone else. So uh, we went and did that. Ours was was annulled and by the state because pe- people were writing into my blog going, "Does this mean you're you're still married?" I'm like, "No, it doesn't. It means that um, the people who I think." It does retroactively affect the people who were married after the annulled part. It's like we were in the first wave, 